In this video, I'm going to share how to properly set up your SMS channel inside of ManyChat. Things have changed in early 2023. In fact, if you're watching this video in March or earlier, uh, ManyChat's been sending out messages that they're discontinuing the channel where they assign the phone number for you. What they have provided now is the ability for us to bring our own phone number through Twilio into the ManyChat account so we have full control of what that number is. To me, that's a big, big plus. I never liked the fact that many chats automatically assigned a random phone number to my chatbot. I'm here in Philadelphia and when I'm texting out and putting the chatbot to work on the channel, sending messages out to FISBOs, expireds, pre foreclosures and stuff to get the person engaged with the chatbot, um, they were seeing some random number. I want to be able to control the number that my bot sends out from. In my case in Philly, a 215, a 610, a 267, one of the local area codes. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. If you already have the channel set up, uh, it will require you for disconnecting the channel and then reconnecting it with your new Twilio phone number. If you're brand new to SMS marketing on ManyChat, this will be a video to show you exactly what you need to do to attach the channel. And I'm going to have other videos coming up shortly here on my channel. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, uh, to the channel here, I greatly appreciate it and smash that uh, bell so you get notified. I'm going to be showing some SMS marketing strategies to get those FISBOs and expireds into your system so that you can turn these into active deals and active paychecks in your bank account. Let's dive into ManyChat and let me show you how easy it is to set up this new channel. Okay, over here on ManyChat, I'm going to show you exactly how to configure your SMS channel. If you're new to the channel, uh, this will be a first time setup where you're going right to Twilio, get the number and setting it up. If you've been using the SMS channel for a while, like I have for the last couple of years, it's, it, there's an extra step where I have to disconnect first and then configure it the proper way using my new personal number. So let's dive in and take a look. So in ManyChat, you come down here to settings to access the details of the channels. So in ManyChat down here, they have uh, six different channels we could do chatbot marketing on. I, I use probably mo all, right, if all but one. I don't think I use Telegram, but now I'm using WhatsApp, email, SMS, Messenger, and Instagram to reach those buyers and sellers. How awesome is that in chatbot marketing? And rumor has it, more channels are to come. So if I come over to SMS here, you'll see I already have a, a channel uh, set up here for SMS. So what you need to do first is to hit this disconnect and then they're gonna have you type in the disconnect right here to uh, pull this uh, channel apart so we can reconfigure it. If you don't do this and it's past March 31st of 2023, uh, many chats automatically gonna disconnect your channel and you won't get any text messages with leads. If you, don't, if you see that after March, you know you haven't done this properly. Get back into many chat and set this up. So all we need to do to connect is hit this blue connect button and then they're now telling us uh, the steps to get this thing configured. Uh, the first stat I'd like to show you is 85% of uh, customers prefer uh, receiving a text message over calls and emails. So you definitely want to take advantage of this channel. Uh, the steps are very easy. We're going to sign up for Twilio. We're going to obtain a phone number. So you may already have a phone number on Twilio or you're going to get a number. I'll show you how to do that. And then finally, uh, you're going to connect the Twilio account to ManyChat for connection. So when you're inside of uh, the Twilio account, um, you're going to sign up. At the very top for third-party integrations, ManyChat's going to ask for the SID and the auth code along with your phone number. So you're going to be, need to get those numbers. So if you don't have a number yet, you need to buy one. So inside of Twilio, you come over to phone numbers here to manage, and down below they have a buy phone numbers. Um, so over in here, you have now complete control what number you're going to look for. You can look for the number or the locality, so anything in Philly or a certain number. I know that 610 is a popular area code in the Philadelphia market, so I could simply search for that uh, area code. And down below, you'll see all the phone numbers I can pick from and make a purchase. Now, what you see in Twilio, it's not going to break the bank. Um, what they charge is $1.15 a month. So what, less than $15 a year, you're going to have a private uh, phone number that's localized so that your chatbot can talk to these home homeowners and buyers and renters and agents um, in the local market. So it's well worth the investment with Twilio. Um, so go ahead and buy that, that phone number. Now, once you do that, when you come over to your main account, 
Um, down below is where you're gonna access all your details. So here's the uh, account number, the SID, and the, uh, the token, and then the phone number we're gonna use. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that SID. Um, so when I come over here to ManyChat and I say connect, the window pops up, it's asking for the Twilio SID uh, number. So I'll go ahead and paste it right here and go down to the token. I need to go back to Twilio and I'm gonna copy the token and I'm gonna come back to ManyChat and I'm gonna paste that right in here. And then lastly, I'm gonna take the phone number I just bought uh, and come back over here and paste it into the phone number field and hit connect. And that's it. Uh, ManyChat is now correctly configured with your Twilio phone number that you brought in. So now I have a great number to use uh, that's localized um, for my market so I can reach those buyers and sellers in an efficient way. I am gonna point out one other thing in this video that's very, very critical. At the turn of the uh, new year in 2023, the regulations across the country have changed so that you must register your, bill, your business and your phone number to be properly sending texts out to consumers. If you don't have a registration, the new regulations, when you text us somebody uh, with this phone number, it'll come up as a spam, potential spam number. So we all get those spam numbers on our phone constantly, especially if you have an iPhone, it'll always show you those sp potential spams. If you register your business on Twilio and the number, then when it goes to ring, it'll show your business name is calling, not a spammy number. Uh, so it's more likely that they're gonna answer the text or the phone number uh, when you're making those uh, calls uh, from this number. So go ahead and get your Twilio a business uh, certified. It's There's steps when you go into Twilio at the top of the page, they give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to register your biz business and get that to be an official texting system with this phone number. I hope you enjoy this. And if you haven't already, consider uh, subscribing to the channel and smash that bell. I have some incredible strategies with SMS coming out. Uh, where I'm, I'm building an SMS chatbot. I'm gonna show you how the chatbot can interact across the SMS channel. And I use this to reach out to FISBOs and expireds and other distressed sellers to see if they want a cash offer. So uh, uh, you wanna not miss that video if you're a real out there to close some uh, serious deals uh, in 2023 and beyond. So I hope you enjoy this. Uh, I always appreciate everybody here and uh, we'll see you on the next video.